Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, April 13, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the uh, ARK Innovation ETF and as you can see, nothing has really happened here. So we did drop eventually in the trading session, but then rallied yet again, and we're trading at 122 at this current stage, just at the 20 exponential moving average. Technically, in the Giddish, for example, the MACD has crossed the signal quite a long time ago. We were still in bearish territory. RSI is basically flat. CCI is flat. Stochastic is in bullish territory. So we basically need to break above these three moving averages in order to go back to the very high here of 160. Break below the 150 opens the door to the 200 uh, level at 109. But at this current stage, the last uh, uh, six, uh, seven tra uh, trading days, it has basically been doing nothing at all. It's basically been stuck here within this range and uh, we need a move basically to the upside or the downside at this current stage. So let's look at DVI. So as you can see, we are trading just above the, uh, the 20 exponential moving average. Nothing is really, uh, really happening at this current stage. Also here, we're just above the 20 exponential moving average. We are in this channel and have been in this channel for a really long time, ever basically since uh, um, the beginning of December. Uh, so we could rally towards these very high zero of uh, 123 or break to lo low towards this channel here at give or take 112 or uh, give or take. So taking indicators for this EDF, for example, MACD is still in bearish territory, but the signal where we're underneath the signal line. So we are, it's kind of bearish. So the RSI is uh, bullish at this point. CCI is bullish and the stochastic is also bullish. So a pullback towards the 20 exponential that could also offer quite a lot of support and we could bounce from there but a takeoff towards the top of this range is kind of what we're looking at at this current at this at this point so vti so vti very similar we have basically been trading within this channel for quite a long time the 100 moving average down here uh, we didn't really get down towards that point but Close to, port, uh, close to the 100 moving average is major support. Otherwise, the 50 and the 20 exponential have also been massive support for this EDF. We tested 100 here and here. Otherwise, it's been the 50, 40, and the 20 where we have basically bounced off. So at this current stage, we're getting fairly overstretched. We're basically at the top of the bullish band. The RSI is overbought. Other technical indicators are very bullish at this, uh, at this current stage. So a pullback towards the 20 which is a fall of give or take uh, 2.5%. Um, 2. The 40, this 3.5%, uh, or even the 50 down here, which is 4%. That is possible and kind of what we're basically looking at. And buying at this uh, point is really risky and we're getting fairly overstretched and overbought at this current point or at this current stage. So a pullback or buying other dips, that is basically the strategy here. Long term, uh, the the target will be around 220. So, so let's look at MH, MCHI. Sorry. So as you can see, uh, this continues to um, basically drop. Uh, we are trading underneath the 150 moving average right here at uh, 82. We're trading at 81 right at this current stage, but uh, 200 moving average down here at the 79 should be massive support as if we basically tested it only a few weeks ago and it showed massive support here. So if you look at the Bollinger Band, for example, we are quite far away from the bottom of the Bollinger Band. So this could drop actually all the way down to this very bottom, another 2.7% before finding support. Technical indicators are very bearish for this uh, ETF. We can see that MACD is in negative territory, just above the signal line. RSI is uh, flat, the CCI is flat, stochastic is bearish. So at this current stage, we may most likely drop towards major support down here at 200 moving average. Uh, and if that breaks, we could fall all the way down to the very bottom here at the 300 moving average at 73. Break above the 
150 opens the door to the to the 20 exponential that's at 82 and then we could go beyond that but we are in a very bearish downward trend in this edf uh, indeed so let's look at ivv so we are approaching the, the top of the channel. We are getting significantly overstretched here in the, in the bull in Japan. So we are significantly overbought. So at this current stage, um, a pullback is kind of expect, uh, expected. Uh, if we basically break above the channel, then that is possible. That only means that we'll go into uh, the 80s in the RSI and we'll go even further above here in the bullish band and usually that means that we'll have a drop something similar to this so in this case if we see a drop here we could uh, find support at 100 402 or the uh, 397 or the 50 moving average at the 393 uh, so at this current stage yes a pullback um, or buying the dips is basically how this has worked there's no reason to basically fight this trend so, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.